I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello there everyone, Stephanie here, and today's video is going to be my pretty much TBR Shane book tag. I have a very, very large stack of books. I was taking them out of their sh areas because usually I keep them under here, my paperbacks and the hardcovers I keep over there. But I didn't like it was organized because there's a lot of books I would really like to get to this year, but they were hidden behind others or just off to this section, which I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to. And I decided I need to split them by books I actually really want to read. And yeah, it's a very large stack. There's a couple that are already on the parts of my shelf where like all of the red books are. And uh, example, An Abundance of Catherine's. But I put a tab on them of some sort. This one has washi tape, the others have sticky tabs. And this is just to let me know that I do not want to unhaul it. But I don't want to read it either. So let's just get it on because I have a lot of books to mention. But the first part of this are the books that I do plan on reading this year or I want to really get to this year and then the second half which I'll let you know when I get there is of books that I don't really want to read right now but I do want to read at some point. Maybe as I'm doing this I will come across and be like oh I actually don't want to read that so we'll see what happens. So here are the books that I want to read but haven't yet. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Fallen by Lauren Kate. The Hunters trilogy, the last two books in that trilogy by L.J. Smith, which is part of the Vampire Diary series, which is Volume 2, Moonsong, and Volume 3, Destiny Rising. Bad Beginnings, a uh, series of uh, the Bad Beginning, Bad Beginnings, by Lemony Snuggett. Thirst, number one, or Volume 1, which is Human Urges and Fatal Consequences by Christopher Pike. I am... Oh, actually, no, this is in includes The Last Vampire, Black Blood, and Red Dice. I don't know. In Game, The Complete Training Diaries by James Frey. And then I have The Bing Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. Safe Haven and The Longest Ride, both by Nicholas Sparks. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Icons by Margaret Stoll. This Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy, which is The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. The American Iris by Daisy Goodwin. Bright Shining, Mor Bright Shiny Morning by James Frey. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Everything is Illuminated by Jonathan Safran Fior. For, Fior, I don't know. The Poison Tree by Erin Kelly. Fifty Shades Freed and Grey, both by E.L. James. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. Into the Wild by Jonathan, John Crack Hour, Crack Your. Let's pretend I said that right. Ow. Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card. The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. The Season of Passage by Christopher Pike. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey... Nefenegger. Yeah. Little Children by Tom Perota. The Ginormous Illuminaries by Eleanor Cadden. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie though, there's something so satisfying about having a ginormous paperback book. Like, oh my god, I love how big. And you know what I love even more? It's not a floppy paperback. So, it sounds weird, but I kind of can't wait to break the spine to this. The Diviners by Libba Bray. Maze Runner. Scorch Trials. The Death Cure. And The Kill Order, all by James Dashner. The next are all V.C. Andrews books. So I have Petals in the Wind, If There Be Thorns, Ruby, Music in the Night, Flowers in the Attic, Seeds of Yesterday, and, so I can just get her out of the way, I also have Twilight Child and Midnight Whispers. Again, all by B.C. Andrews. Labor Day by Joyce Maynard. One Day by David Nichols. Girl Who Played With Fire by Stieg Larson. Really Devoted Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. The Arrivals by Melissa Marr. House of Leaves by... Mark Z. Danielewski. Rush by Eve Silver. I have Invisibility by 
Andrea Kremer and David Levithan. Ab Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. With the Mind Mortar by Samantha Shannon. Faithful Place and Broken Harbor by Tana French. Sky Key by the NM Game Novel by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. I always have to look just because of his name. I find it to be a tongue twister. Nicholas Sparks, See Me. Rainbow Rowls, Carry On, and Landline. The Waking Engine by David Edison. Frozen by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnston. Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon. Just wanted to make sure I got the name right. <laughs> that was my, I do wanna read these at some point this year. Now we're gonna move on to the other things. And honestly, I think my classics, I might just go ahead and put on my shelf just because I will read those eventually. Pride and, Pre Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Julie and Julia by Julie Powell. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. The Almost Moon by Alice Sebold. Abraham Lincoln by Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. And then I have Something Borrowed, Something Blue, and Baby Proof all by Emily Griffin. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle because I might actually read it this year for Christmas. Dracula the Undead, the sequel to the original classics by Dacre Stoker and Ian Holt. This is going on my shelf. Like, I'll read it eventually. The Dead Fathers Club by Matt Haig. Painted Black by Janet Fitch. I have In Sunlight and In Shadow by Mark Helprin. Backseat Saints by Jocelyn Jackson. You Better Not Cry. Possible Side Effects. And Magical Thinking All by Augustin Burroughs. Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan. Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. Cold Light by, I forgot her name, Jen Ashworth. One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich. The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. The Walking Dead by Robert Kirkman and Jay Bonansinga. And this is Rise of the Governor and the Road to Woodbury. I don't really know why I got this. Russian Winter by Daphne Calate. Hearsay and Historical Fiction by S.J. Paris. Elizabeth One by Margaret George. We have Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. A Soldier of the Great War by Mark Helprin. Atonement by Ian McGowan. Haley Efron's Come and Find Me. Never Knowing by Chevy Stevens. The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. A Magic of Twilight. A Magic of Dawn. That's out of order, but whatever. And A Magic of Nightfall, all by S.L. Farrell. I think this is actually the second. I'm not sure. Stephen King's It. That doesn't... Oh my god, this book is literally, like, when it comes to weight, is literally the heaviest I have. Diana Gabaldon's The Scottish Prisoner. Obviously, I'm going to read this. I just need to get the other things that go before it. I think they have it in bind up, so I'm not sure. This is Joe Hill's... Um, Horns. Dreams and Shadows by C. Robert Cargill. Snapshots by William Norris. The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by... Why am I looking? Steve Larson. Emily Bronte's um, Withering Heights. Yeah, this is also going to go on my shelf just because it's really pretty and I'll read it eventually. Days of Blood and Starlight. I still need the first one in order to read this, but I wanted to read this so all it says a dollar store, so how was I going to leave it? For a dollar. No. This is one I may or may not get rid of. When the Night Whispers by Savannah Wells. Missing Solash by Mah Mahmoud Dolatabadi. In Mal is Quite Close by Brandilyn Lynn Ryder. See? Such an easy name to say. Behind the Beautiful Forever is by Catherine Boo. So those are all of my unread books. <sighs> Stop buying books. <sighs> in the future i really just want to keep this as my tbr shelf I, I i fill this up that's fine the moment i have to move books off of this shelf to somewhere else that are unread 
that's when like the issue is really there. So that's kind of how I'm going to organize it. I'm going to put the books I really want to read on that shelf. And obviously the other ones I still want to read them. But you know, some of these I'm just not sure and others I'm like, yeah, even if I unhaul I still have a lot. So like, I that's another reason why I feel like unhauling does not excuse the fact that you have a lot of books unread or it doesn't help that go away. So we'll see what happens, what I end up doing. If I have an unhaul, you guys will know about it. But I really doubt it. I haven't like gotten rid of a book in a long time and I'm trying not to. I either need to read really fast or I need to just stop buying so many books. That's always a great option. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final count of unread books I own. I will have it here. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know down below if you have extremely large CBRs that are ridiculous like mine, or if you have more self-control or you're a faster reader. You know, you just let me know how you roll in the TBR department down in the comments, and then you can just like shame me even more. <sighs> the beauty, the beauty of it all. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.